All right, guys, it's Andy Elliott. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about how to convert a customer on the service drive. What does that mean? That means if you're in the automotive space, if a customer is going through the service station, I am going to show you how to sell them. Check it out. I don't get what I want, I get what I need. Every single day I'm heading off to my dream and I get everything that I damn well please. I don't give a damn if you all listen to me. All right, guys, so this is gonna be a video. It's gonna be a quick one, but a very impactful video. And I want you to grab pen, grab a piece of paper and take notes on how to convert someone out of the service drive. That means if you're in the automotive industry, and a customer is over here and they've got a car checked into the service station and they're sitting down on those seats outside of the service station and they're waiting on their car. I'm gonna show you how to walk in. Rule number one, write down reciprocity. Reciprocity is we're gonna do something for them first and make them wanna do something back for us. How are we gonna start that? Hey, how are you doing? We're gonna walk by nonchalantly, no big deal. Hey, how are you doing? You doing okay today? You guys having a good day? You got a car in service? Nice, okay. Well, my name's Andy. I just came by to see if I could get you something to drink. What can I get you to drink? Something hot, hot to drink, uh, something cold to drink. Um, what would you like? I gotta get you some. I'll get you an empty cup. I just gotta get you some. What would you like? Make them take something from you. Uh, I'll take something hot to drink. Cool. I'll get you a cup of coffee. How would you like it? Creamer, Splenda, you know, sugar. What would you like? Tell them they tell you exactly what they want. Go get it. As soon as you make that coffee and you bring it back, you say, there you go, how are you doing? Hey, by the way, I didn't get your name. What's your name? Now, what did I do? Now, I gave them something, now they gotta give me something back. Now, I didn't get your name. What's your name? Oh, my name's Suzanne. Suzanne, nice to meet you. Put your hand over your heart. My name is Andy Elliott. Anyways, I've, I've been here for three years in the company. Um, I, I love our, our service customers. We have such a great service department. They're amazing. Is this one of the first times you've serviced your car with us? I haven't seen you here before. Oh no, I've been here a couple times. Man, that's crazy. We must always miss each other. I've been here three years. That's awesome. Um, so what do you have in service? Start the conversation. So what do you have in service? She'll say, oh, I have a 2019 Toyota Corolla. Nice, okay. Um, how many miles, roughly? 38,000 miles. Dang, that's low. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Suzanne, let me ask you a question. If I walked over and told my general manager, you had a 2019 Toyota Corolla out here with 38,000 miles, he would literally pull his hair out to come over here and make you an offer. Can I ask you a question? I don't know how much longer you're gonna be in service, but would it be okay if I had my general manager walk out and take a look at your vehicle while you're here in service? And maybe if he's willing to make you a crazy offer, one that'd be mind blowing before you left today, I'd just let you know how much your car was worth. Would that be okay? Yeah? Okay, cool. If they say no, just say, hey, no problem. Well, number one, it's great meeting you. Look, if your house is worth $100,000 and someone's gonna give you 500 grand, you'd probably let them throw an offer your way, right? Well, that's all I wanna do. The fact that your car's in service today, I'm sure that you're probably not gonna plan on upgrading it today, but there is a time in the future in which you will, and I'm sure when you do, somebody's gonna need to offer you all the money. Would you agree? Before you leave, I'd love to make you a crazy offer and blow your mind. Would that be okay? Yeah, okay, awesome. Well, you're amazing. I'll see you in a little bit, and then I'm gonna take off and walk out to the service drive. I'm gonna go check out their car. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, by the way, I don't need to go get my manager. I'm gonna go walk around the vehicle. I'm gonna go check it out, and then I'm gonna come back through. I'm gonna say, Suzanne, you didn't tell me you had the nicest one in the country, or you didn't tell me that your car needed tires. You know what? I've got an idea. We're not gonna buy new tires for your car because I walked around. You know what we're gonna do? Let me ask you a question. Remember I, when I left off, I said, if my general manager made you a crazy offer, right? Would you mind if I gave you one? Look, I wanna ask you a question. Let's say that I came back over here and I told you what your car was worth and you're like, dang, oh my gosh. You know what I'm saying? Like, get your checkbook out, I'm selling it. Like, let's say you said that. Suzanne, what would you drive home with? Would it be something newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage? What would it be? What would you drive home with? What would be the next vehicle? And she says, it would be something bigger. Okay, something bigger, like bigger as in like taller or more seats? Better gas mileage. What kind of gas mileage do you get now? What kind of gas mileage did you want? Um, something newer. You have a 2019 now, what would you want? Like 2024 new? Or would you want like a 2022 or 2021 just a little newer, lower miles? And they answer that question. You say, you know what? You must have a magic rabbit foot in your pocket, Suzanne, because it's your lucky day. Have you ever won the lottery? You just have. Come on with me. I want to show you something over here. Get them up out of service. Take them to the lot. It's done just like that. So what did I just do? I walked over to the service drive. I literally saw a customer. I got him something to drink. I did the number one selling tool in the world, which is called reciprocity. I got them something. After I got them something, I got their name. I sat down with them. I brought it back to them. 
I found out what they had. I asked if my general manager made them a crazy offer. Not would they trade it in? Would you mind if I told you how much that was? They said, sure, or they said no. And then I got around that. And then I said, cool, I'm gonna go check out your vehicle and then I'll get back with you, okay? You're awesome, thank you so much. It's amazing meeting you. And then I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna say, you didn't tell me it was that nice or you know what, you're not gonna believe this. I heard there's a little bit of service stuff that needs to be done to your car. You know, what if you didn't have to pay for that? And by the way, if my general manager made you a crazy offer right now and you're like, oh my God, you gotta remember this. Oh my God, you know, get your checkbook out because I'm selling it. And I say, Suzanne, what if you said, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You're really gonna give me that much? Get your checkbook out because I'm selling it. Let's say you said that to me, right, Suzanne? What would you drive home with? Would it be something newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage, more warranty? What would it be, Suzanne? You see, when I do that, I multiple choice her or him into answering one of those six options I just gave him. Bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage, more warranty. What I just I go through this little streamline and that way it's easy for them to pick one and then guess what? When they do that, what do I say? Oh my gosh, I say, Suzanne, you must have a magic rabbit foot in your pocket because it's your lucky day. Have you ever won the lottery? You just have, come on with me. I'm gonna show you something, I'm gonna blow your mind and in the end, it's completely your decision. Come on, while you're waiting, I wanna show you something. I got something perfect for you. Now, did I even have to get into numbers? Nope. Now what am I doing? Now I'm walking with them and they're thinking in their head, well, what would I replace it with? See, I've done such a good job of explaining it to them. If you memorize and write down this word track that I just gave you, you will be walking on the lot with seven out of 10 customers going to a new vehicle that they would like to pick out. And then if they like it, then you get your trade car, you do the write-up sheet, you go to service, you get the vehicle, your manager's appraising it, you got a deal. So if you wanna know how to convert customers out of the service drive, I know many ways, but this way I just give you for free. Um, let's see if you got the courage to use it. Let's see if you got the courage to write it down a hundred times, watch this video a thousand times until you memorize it. And by the way, share it with the buddy who's in the automotive industry, I promise you. This will sell them an additional 10 to 20 cars more a month. Love you guys, if you need anything, let me know. Use this word track in any situation, it'll always help you. Let's go. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.